Il existe dans la nature des êtres vivants qui ont des capacités d'adhésion dans un milieu liquide. C'est le cas du ver de château de sable, un ver marin capable de construire son propre habitacle dans l'eau en agrégeant des débris minéraux. Mais c'est aussi le cas d'un coquillage comme le bernacle et tout simplement de l'escargot dont la bave lui permet d'adhérer sur une surface humide. Ces capacités uniques intéressent les chercheurs qui travaillent sur les cols médicales. Gecko Biomedical is a French uh, company, a French startup. The work was started in the US, uh, in Boston, at MIT and Harvard Medical School. It was a highly multidisciplinary team uh, involving scientists, engineers and clinicians. Why currently there are no glues for medical applications inside the body? Because basically adhesives current glues, they suffer from several problems. So we wanted something that wasn't uh, miscible with blood, for example, and that wasn't washed away from the targeted site. So we wanted something that was viscous and hydrophobic. Other properties that we wanted for our, our materials uh, were that the clinician should be able to, co to control the activation and the adhesion of the material by an external stimuli. To build uh, this project, to create this technology, what we, what we did was to look to nature to figure out how some creatures, how some animals are able to, to adhere in, in very challenging environments. For example, if used to snails or, or, or barnacles, uh, sandcastle worms, one key property that they have is that they are able to secrete uh, materials that, that are viscous, for example, and that are hydrophobic. And so they, they are able to repel the water on the targeted surface. In some creatures also, once these materials, these secretions, contact the, the targeted surface, by external stimuli, for example, a change in pH, they are able to, to basically harden and, and strongly bind to the substrate. The first stage, of course, was the polymer design. So a polymer, it's, it's a group of small molecules that create long chains that, depending on how you design it, the chains, you can have different properties. And the first part of the work was all this polymer engineering, how to tune the hydrophobicity, how to tune the viscosity. So it's a viscous liquid. And it is what we call the pre-polymer. So we have some long chains, but they are not fully cross-linked. Le pré-polymère peut ensuite être activé par une lumière externe qui a une longueur d'onde spécifique. Ce stimulus, en modifiant la composition chimique du pré-polymère, lui confère des propriétés adhésives. Our polymers can interlock with the topography of the tissue, so that our material is able to basically penetrate and uh, interdigitate within these, the tissue fibers. And once you activate with the light, it crosslinks, it hardens, and basically you can lock our material in the tissue. And this is how it adheres. Depending on, on your application, you can change the, the basic chemistry of the material in a very easy way. The light stimulus allows us to, to be able to control the adhesion only when the surgeon wants. It can deliver the material, it can position it properly how he wants. By having these properties, he can have more control over the surgical procedure. Currently, when you do a surgery, if it needs to be invasive, basically you need to open the patient, you need to, to have it under, under anesthesia. It's a very complex procedure and it's very invasive for the patient. The way we design our materials was that we can deliver it, for example, through a needle or through a catheter inside the body, so that we don't need to make a big incision. If you have, for example, a heart teeth, which means a, a hole inside the body, if you can simply have a glue to close this hole, it will be a big medical revolution. What is next? In addition to the vascular application that we are currently, we will start clinical trials. We are also working uh, on ways to incorporate, for example, drugs uh, inside our materials so that we can promote, for example, healing, accelerated healing, or promote a, a specific uh, response inside the body. Cette colle médicale unique, inspirée de propriétés naturelles, est en cours de développement pour être appliquée aux patients. C'est la preuve que la biologie et la chimie du monde vivant sont des sources d'innovation extraordinaires.